Hello everyone. In the last video, I was wondering how could a signature be verified without the sender present explicitly presenting a public key related to the signature. And these days I learned how can a public key be de derived from the signature and the message associated with it. So here in this uh, signature verification uh, code, we have this method and I will show you how it works. So here we have the message, here we have the address, by this address, we can find in the blockchain, on the blockchain, the public key associated to it. But we can find it because it is a pay to public key script. It uses a pay to public key script. So we can find this public key associated to this address. And we can we can just extract the x and y coordinations of this public key. Here we have the signature in base 64 format. So we decode it to x hexadecimal format and we extract the R and S elements of the signature from this hexadecimal format code and we transform it to a decimal base number to a decim decimal number both R and S and we have to to make the hash of the message, but in the Bitcoin TT, we don't use directly the message as the hash of it. We just we first decode it to hexadecimal, so the message is transformed from in this case, ASCII to hexadecimal code, and we have to find the size of this mesh. And here we have the size of it, and we have to uh, put it in little engine format and pad it with FD byte, and we unite this two strings concatenated and we have also to put this other string concatenated to the first so Bitcoin sign message and the correct form is just this string here and we transform it to hexadecimal and append its size also to the hexadecimal format so we get all of them the size of this header the header itself in hexadecimal the size of the mesh the mesh in hexadecimal we concatenate all of them and we take the double hash of it so the double hash of this mesh is here and we transform it from hexadecimal code to decimal format and we get these three elements in decimal format R, S and Z these are the elements of the signature and this is the double hash of our message that was signed or at least a version of it and I put this in my app to find, no, 
to find uh, the the public key but before i have to say to you we have the r of the signature the this uh, number is associated to a a point in the elliptic curve sec p 256k1 and this point this r point have two y points two y coordinations associated to it so we have two possible key r points that we can use so in this case one is the complement complement of the other point in the elliptic curve and this is the equation that we use using r using s and z the key r and the g point to derive our public key so putting it on on my code we have two possible public key associated to this message signage this one that's an unknown public key uh, and the other is the public key associated to the address we have there in the beginning of this of this presentation so if we compare this hexadecimal code here with the x coordination of the public key they are the same as well as the y coordination so this is the way to derive the public key from a signature and its message and after that we can just verify the signature so this is the way we can find and these signatures are valid and they are not forged and it's okay it's just how cryptography works see you next time may god bless you all